There was a sawmill here at Lock 31, and we're checking out the raceway and everything to see what remains of it. Right now, we found a ditch that comes down. It was the raceway, and we followed it up until it came to where the train crosses and our trail crosses. Then it goes under this culvert. But we'll take a look up that culvert and then walk down the raceway. Here we are at the culvert. We're going to get up close and peek up inside it as much as we can. Come down low. And then I don't know if we can see anything up there or not other than my light. We won't know till we get back and look at the footage. Now that we're in here, seeing stone walls. That's concrete back to stone walls. We turned around, we can see that this raceway is lined with stone. And we're going to walk down it to see what we find. Stone on the side. Looks like it's mortared in. We can see this is still a stream bed. See a lot of rocks on the bottom, but well, here's some more stone work. We look down the bed and we can see a metal pipe running. So not sure what that was, some other kind of drain. Take a look at this stone work on the left. Move down and look at the stone work. It looks like something may have been there or it's just caved in. Look at that, that stone work on the right. We'll have to move down. We got out of the run and on the river side, we see some of the stonework built up. And then we find this arch. It's got a keystone and everything else. It could have been to let water in. We did see where the sawmill at one point in time bought water from the canal. This goes on down. We moved to the other side of that log. We had to go around. And we're looking at stonework here on the river side that's to give you direction now as we look on the berm side we see the stone wall kind of comes out wide and gives us a big area here just probably pulled up for the sawmill so we're looking at this as a big pool let's move down here and we can see the inside of this arch and we believe this is where the water came from that they got from the canal when times when Israel Creek was low they would buy water from the canal this is probably how it came in looking down from the arch we see more stonework and then we see this was probably some kind of dam going across. We'll get an up close look at it. Up to this dam, it looks like steps coming down. And then an overflow spot. And it goes into dirt on the other side we can't see it. But we'll move around and get a better look at that. We'll walk up these steps. We came around and looked at this dam and the right side looks like we've lost some of the stones on that. The chinking looks like the rope kind. When we look down, we can see part of a fallen wall. There's another culvert pipe, a metal one, coming in from the train tracks direction. This looks kind of filled. So we've got a big hole here. We'll go on the other side and show you what we have there that pile of rocks there could have been some of the remainder of the old sawmill 
we moved over to the other side and looking at that wall that's on the towpath side and we can see the big arch in there we're able to go all the way around and see it coming out the other side give you a shot down in there but it's interesting how this top wall comes around and over and that's the last evidence I see of it but as I swing back I see a straight seam right there and another one on the other side of the culvert looking at the dam and the stonework next to it we look down there at the stuff in the bottom look see that sign lock 31 there's an old sign that ended up down there this very well could be where they had their mill wheel and that's what turned the power to sawmill I came over to the other side of the tracks and looked around and I found an open culvert a culvert face of the culvert now this side looks looks to be stone pretty smooth and we'll go over and take a look at the other side this is the upstream side we can see there's water in there gurgling away we look at this stonework and it looks more like the railroad stonework that we saw water's going into it we continue on over to the other side and picking up the mill race over there we came over on the other side of the access road and we see a drain culvert disappearing into the hillside it probably blends in underground 340 has covered over the rest of this channel look up toward 340 and it's uphill we're looking at the downhill side the river side of the culvert that took the run from the uh, sawmill out and as we could see it's flowing pretty good Looking at the stonework here, we see it has the uh, rope joints. We see some wings on the side. Where, you know, there's a straight line down, it comes out. We see a couple big stones on top of the arch. Then the arch. We're going to get down here and look through. Yes, we can see daylight all the way through. And the running water. And then down the run looking toward the river. Then here to drain the water out of the canal for lock 31 is a waste weir. This one's concrete and concrete over stone. Down here in the canal bed we can see some of the stones leading up to the waste weir. We're down here looking through it. Had three openings. They would put boards across them to control the level of the water in the canal or to drain the canal in the winter time. And everything I see on this side pretty much is concrete. Now we're looking at the waste weir from the riverside. Over here we see a lot of the stonework is still in place. Look down the one side the north side then we'll swing over and it's got a, a masonry lip there we'll swing up looking at the stonework here on the other side some big stones in there and then poured concrete over them what was left so that's our waste weir for here at lock 31 now I'm down below the waste weir and I wanted to show you the stonework that the water will pour down as it makes its way out toward the river. That's a pretty massive job there. And it looks like it has concrete on top for the bed of the stream and then it falls over the stones and follows a regular path down to the river. The water comes over the stonework and makes its way down to the river. But that's a lot of nice looking stone in there. I zoomed in kind of see if we get a better look at it or at least that up the side 
We'll make one final look here before we move on. This is the waste weir for lock 31. Thanks for watching our video of lock 31 up close and the things around it. Look for our next video hiking from Weaverton to the 340 bridge. See you next time.